trail created is equal to true. GT trail fade, tra fade is equal to false. Oh, I know what's happening. In this case, the else may actually, the else combined with the four may be required. Um, well, I don't fully know what's happening. I'm taking a guess right here. If trail fade is equal to true, it should jump down into this block. A second ago when I removed else, it may have kept hitting this block and not ever hitting this block. Um, end up not ever hitting that block. So let's try this again. Okay, going back in the game. Compiling. Almost finished. Scott, mission one Death at Dark. Go. Is it not? Yeah, it's not working, so I just put a whole bunch of supers up on screen. <laughs> um, Why, not? <laughs> Why not? Right. Right. Oh, dude, it looks nuts, though. God, it's going to be insane. I'm wondering if that... if that image index is just happening so fast that it can't That it just doesn't know what to do. I mean, it looks like it stops right where it should. So I think it's definitely getting set to true. The only thing that I can imagine that's going wrong here is that this image index now is just not catching the way it should be. Um, I'm actually, let's just slow down the uh, speed of that trail as well a little bit more go to trail init let's change it to 33 make sure that yep that's only on the create save that greater than or equal to 3 then destroy it let's see if that works otherwise I mean, what's ha you know, otherwise what's happening is it's not getting out of that if block and um, it, so it should be getting into the else block, but um, this would basically be indicating that it's never getting out of the if block. So maybe trail created is not ever getting set to true. Oh man, do I have a lot of black Yeah. Death at the dusk. Go. Maybe you're trying to power through, so I didn't Yeah. Get us back here. So it's gotta be that it's never getting out of this if block. So trail created is not getting set to true, apparently. Should be getting set to true.
Now created equals true. Instance exists, argument 0.gt. Stop the x at the room width. gt trail fade equals true. I mean, the next thing to do here is start out putting debug messages, which I hate doing. Um, and I think basically because of time, I'll try this once and then I'll have to go here. So let's try this. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Come on, come on, save. Okay. Copy. Okay, I haven't put a lot of time and thought into my um, debug messages yet, guys, so it's going to be a little bit uh, funny looking when this outputs. If I put a little bit more um, effort into this, it would look a lot better and be a little bit more intuitive when it outputs to the screen. But let's see if we can get this turned on real quick. playing this one more time. Okay, it's compiling. See if I created any errors with that with those debug messages or not. Mission one, death at the docks, go! Okay, I'm not seeing the debug message. I'm gonna go look at that really quickly. <sighs> Object, controller.
I may have just set the wrong variable and it's not outputting correctly. Copy message debug. Let's try that. Under scripts, specials, we put it in trail movement, I believe. Nope, not trail movement, trail animation. Okay, that looks correct. Plus equals trail fade. Where is trail animation getting called from? That might be my problem. I think I figured it out. Yeah, I don't see trail animation getting called from anywhere. Only the movement script. Simple mistakes, man. Trail movement. Okay. Script, Griffin, trail, animation. Simple mistakes. All right. Now I'm going to put this back to five because I think that whole thing needs to play. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. I'm pretty sure that's my bug. What happens when you debug? You don't even have to put out a debug message. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay, and let's see what that does. Chris, did I go off cam again? Yeah. Damn, you gotta tell me, dog. Sorry, dude. I'm, Man, I'm, I'm trying to get OBS to switch stuff. back r the correct way, but it just does not know how to switch back when I'm out of that game. Um, oh, that's it's kind of annoying. The scene switcher doesn't exactly, it doesn't have enough fine tuned control that I would like it to have, but it is what it is for now. Okay, going back in game. Mission one. Death also, at um, oh no, no, no. Bug. Line nine doesn't like. Okay, line nine. Back to the cam. Were you saying something, Chris? No, no, I was, uh, thought I had a point to make, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to watch that again because I don't exactly know. Um, I might need to copy that error just so I can see debug while I'm out outside of there. Okay, guys, going back in. Definitely going to have to jump off in like the next five minutes here. Still waiting for it to compile. There it is. I haven't changed anything, so I know it's going to um, error out again. Okay, I'm going to copy this error, open a text editor so I can modify this. So it doesn't recognize that it's created gt.imageindex yet, or gt yet. 
So let's try this. Add this into here. That should solve that problem. Try again. Mission one, death at the dark. Woo! <laughs> I think that is a good thing. I can't see it right now, but... Is he destroying himself, right? Is it working correctly? Yeah, okay. you'll see it. Oh, man, damn. Perfect. Man, that was so worth it. All right, so uh, if you're just tuning in, I've got to go ahead and jet out of here. I'm sorry about that. Um, basically, I've been working on the special for um, MGC. We wanted to get a special in before we go to MGC. We are building this for... Thanks, Los Pancho. I see that you said success. Uh, we are building this specifically for... Um, uh, an arcade cabinet and uh, exclusively for the arcade uh, at the very least initially um, so uh, I, I was able to get the animation working correctly had to spend a little bit of extra time here my next steps on this are to spend a little bit more time with the animation but to start giving it the ability to do damage to anything that it touches uh, and anything that comes within the vicinity of it also um, make sky cursor slash guy uh, invincible when he releases it so um, if I'm back on later tonight, it'll probably be a silent stream. I won't be um, on camera, but I will be um, just kind of working. Out. You'll be able to see my monitor and see um, everything working from there. Uh, thanks a lot, Beastly bro. Talk to you soon, man. Um, so thanks, if you, if you uh, haven't followed us and you like what you see, please uh, bop that follow button. Yeah, dude. Uh, come, come up to us and say hi, man. Um, that's sweet. Yes, we will definitely be there. Thanks for the follow too, man. Appreciate it. Um, additionally, if you want to just kind of know when we're getting on stream, uh, follow us on Twitter. We always tweet out when we're going live. Also, uh, if you want to catch any of our past, uh, streams, thanks a lot, Cody Husky. Really appreciate it, man. Um, uh, if you, um, want to follow some of our past streams and see the work that we've put in so far we put all of our we upload all of our uh, all of our uh, content all of our streams straight to YouTube so um, you'll be able to catch up on anything and we we try to do it the same day so it's up within an hour or two after we're done streaming here so um, thanks a lot Chris thanks for tuning in and giving me some feedback uh, specifically based on um, the animation, since you're the one designed it, knew exactly how it would look. Thank you so much, Cody Husky. Very nice. Very nice of you to say. Yeah, it um, means a lot, guys. Definitely. Thanks lot. for everybody for watching. And, um, a lot you know, more to come here. Yeah, and any questions you guys have, you know, feel free to send them to us. We've got our emails on the website, and, uh, you know, we're going to definitely be plugging away on the game. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'll, we'll talk soon.